Hi, my name is Stefan Larsson. I work at Ericsson Labs. I'm going to show you how to make indoor maps in the Ericsson Map Studio, which is part of the indoor maps and positioning platform found at Ericsson Labs. In the map editor, uh, you can create and design your own indoor maps. And the style editor lets you do the design templates for your maps. But in this video, I'm going to show you the basic of the map editor and how you create your first indoor map. So, we're going to start by going to the map editor. Um, and what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to create a new map. And as part of creating a new map, I need to choose a building. And since I don't have any buildings created, I will start by creating a new building. And I'm going to create a building called the Demo Shopping Mall. Uh, I'm going to enter the same information as description here. The demo shopping mall building. Uh, I can leave latitude and longitude as zero right now because I don't need them at this stage. Uh, my building has two floors and the first floor number is one. So now I can see that my building has popped up here in the drop down. So let's click next. Let's choose the floor of the map, which is floor one. And then enter a name for a map. The demo shopping mall floor floor one and finish there let's start by saving the map so now I have created my first map and as you can see we have a empty canvas here um, and to the left here you have a bunch of buttons and tools which are tools that you use when you create your map and to the right here you have a set of accordions uh, the first one, Map Properties, describes the information for my map. Uh, here I can change the name of my map and the description. I can also see the ID of my map, which is used when I retrieve my map with the Map API available at Ericsson Labs. Uh, I can also set a recommended style for my map. Um, I also have to say if it's published or not. Published means that um, if I want to access my map from the Map API, I need to set publish to yes. Uh, if I want to share my maps with other Exxon Labs users, I can set shared to yes. Background image lets me use a background image when I draw my map. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a bit. Uh, the building information lets me either change the building that I've selected for my map, or I can also edit the information of the building. And floor is basically the same thing. I can change the floor for my map or I can edit the floor information. Uh, relations relations <clears throat> lets me link maps together. Uh, and I'm going to show you that in another video, so let's not go into that right now. But to start with, when I want to draw my map, I need a background image to draw upon. So to upload a background image, I'm going to go to the file manager. Uh, and here I will be able to find lists of all my content, uh, which right now is nothing. So I'm going to choose Upload, choose my file, uh, and that's uh, the demo shopping mall floor one, and press Upload. And your image have successfully been uploaded. So I go back to the map editor. Let's load my map. And then I, in the background image, I can press load. And now I see the background image in my canvas. So to so start creating the map, I choose the create tool. And I'm going to start by drawing the outline of the map. So I click in each corner of the map. Uh, and as you can see, each time I click, there pops up a little circle here and these circles are called nodes and which is basically a x and y coordinate and the linked nodes are called a way so right now I have a way that represents the outline of a map so I'm going to start by creating ways for all the rooms and areas in this map as you can see I can reuse uh, nodes from other ways I just click in them and when I want to close a way I click in, the, in one of the existing nodes that are already in that way, like that. Uh, 
there, see the last way there now I've created ways for all my rooms uh, if I would like to move one of these nodes I can either just choose the move tool and I can hold and drag the node like that uh, or I can use the keyboard for finer adjustments uh, I can also pan the map when I'm in the view and uh, move mode I just use the left button or I can use these buttons and to zoom the map I can also use this slider or I can use the scroll wheel the next step is to add information to my map and I can do that by adding tags to my nodes and ways uh, a tag is a basic key value pair of information and it can be added to any way or any node so to start I'm gonna choose uh, the view mode here uh, let's click on a way I have selected a sports store and then I can click way tags uh, and as you can see here uh, we have two drop downs one called tag set and one called tag group and the tag sets is basically a group of tag groups and I only have one called general and the tag groups I can see a list of different types of rooms and areas and here I can just choose store since it's the sports store I'm gonna tag and now I can see that um, two tags have been added to my way uh, room yes and room type store uh, and this is the convention when you tag rooms so this should be followed uh, since this is the room we say room yes and room type store uh, if I want to add an additional tag to this way, I can just press add tag and enter whatever I want. In this case, I want to add a name to my way. So let's call it the sports store. Um, these tags can then be accessed through the map API. So if, for example, I want to build an application using my demo shopping mall map. I can let the users uh, see this name when they click on the room. Uh, so now I'm quickly gonna <clears throat> tag the rest of the the ways here. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here. The clothes store. Uh, this is a stair, so I just do stair. I don't need to add a name for that one. Uh, this is the outdoor area. Uh, the cafe. Let's choose that one. That can get a name as well the cafe uh, this is a restroom and this is the restroom and the restaurant let's add a name for that one as well uh, I also need to tag the outline of the, of the map uh, and we call this building and that's just the tag building yes and that way we know what is the outline of uh, the map um, so now I have added all the information to my map so that is basically it I have created my first indoor map I just need to save it like that uh, if you want to create your own maps just go to Ericsson labs at labs.ericsson.com and click your way through to indoor maps and positioning and there you can find your way to this map studio thank you